guys welcome back to my channel today I want to do an update for you guys on how the plants have been growing under this grow light this grow light has been sent to me by Mars Hydro to test out and I gotta say that I've been loving it so far so I thought I'd give you guys an update on it guys, the setup of this mini greenhouse so you see that is the grow light and I was able to find a rack that would fit this tight space and I basically this is a five tier rack and I divided in half so that I could fit in this space nicely and the other half is right out here which I got some more things propagating and it's nighttime right now so everything's pretty dark otherwise it stays pretty uh, I think it's decent brightness out here during the day so the top tier here obviously has the brightest light but that also means that it's the warmest being up top especially if the things grow a little taller closer to the light it does get pretty hot and it can burn your the leaves of your plants so actually the propagations that I do I find that being a little lower you know further away from the light is actually best whereas the top shelf here I keep the really short things maybe for microgreens or or for seed germination especially like for peppers or cucumbers or like in this case it's the ice plants they really like the heat to get them to germinate so they're staying up higher basically I got the you know the other propagations going here and then as they get tall enough they don't need as much light I would move them down there and it looks pretty dark right now but in the daytime it gets decent light out here and I slowly just kind of move them around in this in the on the balcony. If you guys did not catch that episode on unboxing it and um, installing this, be sure to check the link down below in the box below this video. But today I want to show you guys the progress of the plants because it's been four weeks since uh, the experiment was done. Now the first experiment I did, the timer went off, I mean went out on me, so I was not able to do an accurate, you know, timing of when the lights were on. Sometimes they were off for a really long time, so I had to restart the, or I had to redo the experiment. So it has been well over, well it's been four weeks going on to the fifth week now and if I wait any longer to do this video the plants are gonna get too tall for this mini greenhouse. So as you guys can see that I am in my balcony which I've converted to be a more enclosed outdoor slash indoor space for growing which kind of acts a little bit like a greenhouse and or an unheated greenhouse and so I got this mini greenhouse here to give it a little extra um, humidity or warmth in you know for germination so I first planted out the genera pro convents also known as longevity spinach and the uh, Genera bicolor, also known as Okinawa spinach. Now, if you guys want to find out more about, you know, the longevity spinach and the benefits of the health benefits of that, and how it helps with your blood sugar and and you know your cholesterol, all that sort of good stuff, go check out the link down below for some episodes on on that vegetable. But basically, these are some starter plants that I offer on my website, and so. To do this experiment, what I did was I rooted these out and um, basically just transplanted them and left them in this mini greenhouse where this light uh, was set up. So I planted them in here and in in the mini greenhouse and then I also did some planting where it's just getting natural light. Now in this space, it gets... Um, bright but not super extreme brightness because it does not get direct sunlight here it gets a little bit of afternoon like late afternoon Sun here so the entire day is just pretty much just bright light and it just the temperature stays a pretty consistent throughout the day here because it is in more enclosed space and it does not get direct sunlight so that was my experiment I was doing a, a comparison between growing the starter plants in this mini greenhouse under this bright uh, grow light versus using natural light that's more in the uh, bright indirect sunlight that they're getting right over here. So the first thing I gotta say is that the first 
couple of weeks, the first two weeks, they both seem to be growing at a very close rate. The ones under the grow lights were growing a tiny bit better than the ones out, you know, in the natural light. But they both were growing at like the height and all that were, were very similar. The colors on both of them were really beautiful, especially using the Genera bicolor known as a long, no, what is it called? Okinawa spinach has a beautiful purple under, you know, the leaf has purple, a deep purple color, and on the top has like a deep green color. So I thought that would be a really good experiment to use it to see how well the, the colors would hold up under the grow light versus natural sunlight. And so the first two weeks, what I noticed was that under, uh, it was fairly close. The colors were pretty true to, like, to the plants. And so it was just showing really beautiful pigments of, of purple and the green color on the leaves and on both sides, on the natural light and on the, and the grow light, under the grow light. But then by the third week, and especially by the fourth week, the growth rate was really pushing. I mean, growing under the, having them under the grow lights, they were growing a lot faster, growing a lot more lush than the ones in the natural sunlight. We are also getting shorter daylight now as we are moving closer to the cooler season. So it's just getting really consistent brightness for 14 hours under the grow light here. So it's just getting a lot of bright light all around these, these starter plants. And so they were just, you know, they took like two weeks or so to kind of get established and, and grow a little more dense and then by the third week they were just shooting up getting the height and the width and more leaves and new stems were branching out so they were so much more lush in you know placed under the grow lights. Also I noticed that Genera procumbens also known as the longevity spinach if you look closely some of your plants would have a little hint of purple streak in you know in the middle the center of the leaves so that color was brought out even more under this grow light and that really all depends when the genera sometimes you get like a, a cutting or when the plants get more mature it does have a little more purple on the stems and in the center of the leaves so that color was brought out even more when grown under this grow light versus just being in the natural um, light here and like I said I'm sure if I did this experiment for you know doing like more direct sun versus under grow light, I think they both would be more similar in comparison, but because the natural sunlight here is in under un, under indirect sun, it's lacking a bit of color in the growth of the plants. So yeah, that's pretty much how, you know, I've been, I've been pretty happy to see that, you know, things are growing really well. It definitely has, I think, sped up twice as fast being under the grow lights and there were times when because it was not getting efficient sunlight like I really try to pack in as many plants as I can in the space and so they're not getting that much light sometimes especially if one plant grows a lot faster than the other then it starts to shade out the smaller plant next to it and so there were I, there were three or four plants that actually the starters that rotted out in the natural light versus under the the grow lights and the grow light one of them brought it out and that's just all normal you know when you grow plants you do have to know that not every one every single plant is going to take when you guys are doing your own propagations just know that especially if you are new at propagating plants and you know making cuttings and all that just know that it is normal to not get a hundred percent of what you get. Also, like when you're growing things from seeds, you know, you're starting off for 20, from 20 seeds, you might end up with three plants. Um, some plants are more have more higher germination rate and they'll grow better. You might start off 20 and you might end up getting 18 plants, which is fabulous. But usually in the case, it, I mean, usually that's not the case, especially for certain plants that are a little more finicky. So just keep that in mind, you guys. And um, yeah, so some, were, some of the plants that were under the natural light 
were lacking, like needed a little more boost of light for energy to grow. And so I actually even put them under the grow light and they've gotten um, a lot better. So that is it right now for this update, you guys. Oh, you know what? One more thing. I even started this tray. So, don't know if you guys can see this. So this is a tray of ice plants that I've harvested. If you guys did not see the wild harvest video, I'll link it down below for you guys. So these seeds came from the cuttings that I got from the wild harvest uh, crops. And so my crops grew last year and they seeded and I had to move them to a different spot because I was putting new plants in that container. So I saved those seeds and I sowed them in that on this tray. And I was putting this tray in here to grow on by itself and it wasn't germinating until I put them under the grow lights. It was just, I think, also being in this greenhouse, it's extra warmth that it's giving it and the the grow light, I mean, under the grow light, if I place my hand under it, I can actually feel it gets pretty warm in there. So it really helped to warm up the soil and got the these these ice plants to germinate. So I thought that was really exciting for me because these plants can grow quite fast once they get established, but at the beginning, it's actually kind of hard to germinate the seeds. If they really like the temperature and the you know the environment that it's in, it can germinate really easily. This is the wasabi plant. I used to put it in the garden because it's supposed to be in full shade, but the garden full shade actually did not give it enough light to grow. So instead, this plant two weeks ago before I placed it under the green the green light the the grow light it looked like this. It was just kind of drying out and not really giving much growth at all because it wasn't getting enough light. So after putting it in the under the grow light, it finally is taken off. So I decided to put the other wasabi plant in here as well. So hopefully this one will start taking soon. I just put this one down like two days ago. Thank you for joining me on this update, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and share this video and to subscribe to this channel. Also, I would love for you to connect with me on Facebook or Instagram where I do instant updates of my life that you don't get to see on this channel. If you guys are interested in the scroll light, I'll leave the link down below for you guys to go check out. And um, yeah, if you would like to support my work, I really would appreciate it. Please go check out my website at wendyland.com. I'll leave the links of everything that I just mentioned in this video just in the box below. Thank you so much, you guys. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you right back here very soon. Bye.